got my handy dandy unit circle. All I have to do is find 3 pi over 4, okay? Uh, it's over 4, so I know it's one of the middle angles, um, so I'm not searching all over it. 3 pi over 4 is in the second quadrant. Sine is the y coordinate, so I just have to look at the y coordinate of the angle that I have measured uh, labeled 3 pi over 4, um, and that answer is going to be the square root of 2 over 2. Okay. Now, you can use your calculator to confirm this, um, but if you do that, it's not going to give it to you in nice, pretty square root form. Okay, I can type in the, uh, the sine of 3 pi over 4 in my calculator, and it gives me this number. Well, that's not the number that I want to see on your paper. Okay, I want to see the square root of 2 over 2. But you can type in the square root of 2 over 2 and see that it gives you the same decimal. Okay, now, negative angles. Here is what I think is the easiest way to deal with negative angles. If it asks for the cosine of negative pi over 3, what you do is you go to the positive angle, okay? If it's asking for the cosine of negative pi over 3, then I'm going to find positive pi over 3 on my unit circle, and I'm just going to go directly below it. And I'm going to reference that coordinate right there. And the cosine is the y. So the cosine of negative pi over 3 is 1 half. Well, the reason why that works is because negative pi over 3, its coterminal angle is 5 pi over 3. Okay, if you went through the process of finding a coterminal angle, you would find that it's 5 pi over 3. Um, but this, this is just the easiest way to do it. Okay, um, <clears throat> now if it asks for the sine of negative 11 pi over 6, okay, find positive 11 pi over 6, and it's below the x-axis, so then you go above it. You just, you just go the opposite way, okay, up or down, um, if it's a negative angle, okay? Um, tangent, okay? Tangent of pi over 2. Now, we don't have tangent on the unit circle. The unit circle gives us sine and cosine, so what we have to do here is we have to realize that tangent is equivalent to sine over cosine. So we go to pi over 2 and we're going to put the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. Well, the y-coordinate of pi over 2 is 1. The x-coordinate is 0. Can we divide by 0? No. Okay? 0 on the bottom, no way. <clears throat> so, uh, that is undefined. Okay, you can put UND. I'm fine with that. Okay, that is an undefined value. Tangent of pi over 2 does not exist. Okay, what about tangent of 3 pi? Well, that's kind of weird. Our circle doesn't go to 3 pi. Okay, well, it goes to 2 pi, right? So we go all the way around, that's 2 pi. We need one more pi, right? So one more pi takes us to the negative x-axis. Again, we've got to do sine over cosine. And there, the sine is 0. What's the cosine? Negative 1. Is that okay? Yes, it is. You can divide 0 by a number. That is okay. And that answer is 0. Don't leave it as 0 over negative 1. Okay, 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. Okay. <clears throat> what if we're asked about the cosecant? Well, we've just got to recognize that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So you should rewrite that as 1 over the sine of 7 pi over 6. Find 7 pi over 6 on your unit circle. Okay, that's in the third quadrant. And what is it, negative 1 half? Yeah. Now, do not leave that like that, okay? <clears throat> I do not want you to leave it like that. Um, when you divide by a fraction... What happens is you flip the bottom one over, and it turns into multiplication. So that is equivalent to negative 2. Yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
yeah, you could also look at it as just finding the sign and flipping. It's the reciprocal, so you can either put one over that number or you can just flip it over. Yes. <clears throat> Two ways of looking at it. Okay, secant. Secant goes with cosine. Now, here's another negative angle. Okay, negative 5 pi over 4. So on your unit circle, look for positive 5 pi over 4. That is also in the third quadrant. But it's negative 5 pi over 4, so we go directly above it. So that is negative square root 2 over 2. Or if you flip it over, it's just negative 2 over the square root of 2. You do not have to rationalize that. Okay? If you really want to, you can. And that ends up simplifying to just the negative square root of 2. <clears throat> Last example here, let's look at a cotangent. Okay, cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so that means it is cosine over sine. <clears throat> so 4 pi over 3, uh, that's another one in the third quadrant. Okay, 4 pi over 3 is another one in the third quadrant. <clears throat> um, the cosine of that one is negative one half. The sine is negative square root three over two. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I'm doubting myself right here. Okay. <clears throat> when you do this, you keep the top fraction the same. You flip the bottom one over, and it turns into multiplication. So we've got a negative times a negative becomes a positive. You've got two in the top, two in the bottom. So this is one over the square root of three. Or rationalized, it is the square root of three over three. <clears throat> and let me show you one more time how to confirm this in the calculator. If you've got cotangent, cosecant, secant, okay, you have to know um, that they are the reciprocals because you don't have those buttons on your calculator and it's not the inverse. Okay, remember the inverse lets you find an angle, so that's not the same. You have to do 1 over the tangent of 4 pi over 3. Okay, obviously it doesn't give it to you in, in rational form or in radical form, so you'd have to compare the decimals. Yes, ma'am? Yes, the flipping... So when you have a fraction within a fraction, you keep the top one the same, so you keep the negative one half, turns into multiplication, and you flip the bottom one over. Okay? Top one stays the same, turns into multiplication, flip the bottom one over. You had a negative times a negative, so that makes a positive. You got two in the top, two in the bottom, so those cancel. And you're just left with one, one in the top and the square root of three in the bottom. Why am I putting it? Because it was cotangent. If it was regular tangent, it's not going to be cosine. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. The unit circle only gives us the values of sine and cosine. So if we've got to find tangent or cotangent, we've got to. So, 